Hi, I'm Amy from Kuru Body Works and today I am putting together a little stretch routine for the 20 odd thousand people who ran the Great South Run yesterday. So firstly, congratulations and um, well done. Uh, 20 miles is a long way to run, so I take my hat off to you. Um, the likelihood is today, maybe a little bit earlier today, and into tomorrow you'll feel a fair amount of muscle stiffness and soreness. Um, which can be a natural part of sort of intense um, exercise. So I was thinking of you this morning and I have put together this really short routine that if you feel that um, your muscles want a bit of a stretch that hopefully this may help a little bit. Okay to start with um, I have um, a tea towel and I have taken the tea towel on its opposite ends and I'm just going to wrap it round so it becomes a um, handy little tool to get a good stretch into uh, the back of the legs. So I'm going to pop that to one side. I'm going to start off um, laying down on my back and just positioning myself so I feel both feet are flat on the mat, equally weighted. I'm just lifting those up. I'm going to lay those down. I can feel my pelvis is nice and even, rib cage reaching down so my shoulders are away from my ears. Just taking a couple of breaths in here, spend as much time as you like, taking deep breaths in through the nose and just exhale through the mouth. And it's nice just to spend a little bit of time filling up the rib cage and emptying that rib cage as much as you can, just to feel nice and relaxed. So to start off with, I'll just bring in my leg, pulling up, so I'm getting a nice stretch into the back of the bum and taking that down. Again, you can hold that for as long as you like, taking the other leg in pulling in and then bringing both legs in. So just take your time over these. I pull both of my knees in so I get a nice stretch through my lower back. Kind of work a little bit around in circles, just releasing parts of the lower back. It's quite nice to start off with. And taking the legs down, taking my arms down into a V, just dropping both my knees and my feet down to one side. I have my knees and my feet together my shoulder is on the mat as I drop to one side and I get a nice lengthen through the lower back and into the glutes, just down on here, it's a nice reach, also onto the upper back and coming back into the centre and then over to the other side, reaching away. So you can do a few of those again at your own pace, just keeping the upper body nice and stable. And then what you can do is I take this top foot and I push up into the foot, so I'm basically pushing the pelvis upwards. So what happens here for me is I get a nice stretch through the quads, so I'm reaching forward, I get an additional intense stretch into the back, and I'm using the glutes and the back of the leg just to push up, just to intensify that a little bit. Coming back down, over to the other side again, taking my foot, pushing up, so I'm pushing into the hip, trying to bring the hip forward. It's moving forward, getting a nice stretch into the front of the body and all the way down the back. I'm using my glutes and my hamstrings. Again, I'm keeping my shoulders on the mat. Okay, so we'll do a few of those. Bring the feet back in. Just drop the knees away. When you do that, thinking about keeping your mat strong. So when you break these four, your knees away, sometimes the back wants to come up. Making sure that your back is nice and stable on the mat and just work into those adductor muscles which work really hard when you're running. They're a real workhorse. We tend to forget about them a little bit. So sort of pushing those down. Take a few breaths there and just enjoy that. Just relax through the glutes. So just allow that to happen. Just relax the glutes. That's a nice stretch there. Okay, take a few breaths there. Then I take my tea towel. I wrap it over the ball of my foot lengthen the leg out and pull the toe down so that will reach down through the back of the leg all the way through the calf into the hamstring and then I can go into some dynamic stretching if you like so bending the knee pushing up bending down and as I'm doing that I'm pushing the foot and pulling the foot I should say towards me so the heel is going towards the ceiling coming down pushing away and bring that knee you can intensify it if you want if you feel comfortable with that again just really working into the back of the leg and then I can point through so now I'm working into the front of the leg as well so down to anterior and the quad is working and then 
coming back through to the back of the neck. And nice lengthening out to the front. And coming back down again using the T tail to do that. So then you can take the leg over. So this is a great stretch for the outer hip. So I'm holding on and I can pull down on this side just to intensify that stretch. I'm taking this arm out here just to keep myself nice and stable, holding that stretch in that position. Bringing the leg in, changing hands, taking the leg out and stretching through the adductors again in a length and leg position, trying to keep this side of the body on the mat. And again, using this hand to stabilize yourself over here so you get a really nice stretch through the adductors all the way down through to the side of the knee. And coming back in again, and you can repeat that as many times as you like. Taking behind the legs, rolling up, lengthen the legs out. Again, take your tea towel, take the legs slightly apart, try and start nice and tall through the back as much as you can. Breathing in, and then take the head down, just looking in between your knees, and then pull towards you using the tea towel to get a really nice stretch through the back. So I'm pulling my elbows towards me as I'm lengthening my head forward. So the crown of the head is going over to the other side of the room, and I am just looking down between my knees and pulling that leg to get a really nice stretch to the back of the legs and into the lower back. Breathing in, and then I'll exhale, rolling, 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 back up into a straight back position. Breathing in, exhale, dipping the chin down, looking in between the knees, pulling the elbows back. Really nice stretch through the back of the legs, using the tea towel to challenge yourself. You can equally do this without a tea towel. Keep reaching forward, keeping the arms up, and rolling back in. So there you go, there's a few ideas that you can use. If your muscles are a little bit sore after yesterday's run, give it a go and hopefully um, that will help you feel just a little bit better when you wake up tomorrow morning. I hope you enjoy it.